all of the lies. Da, ba, 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 Wendy. Okay. Do that. Hey. You can't touch it. I guess it wants me to come in here. You do look ever so drawn this morning. That bloody dog kept me awake. And there was that thing in the sky. The radio says it was an electrical storm, but I don't know what it was. This morning, I found some dead birds in the garden. I'm sorry to hear that. I wonder if it might have had something to do with the atmospheric conditions. Why, well, Stephen will probably know. I'll give him a call in a bit. Wendy, I've popped around because we've had some incidents with some of the more elderly residents. Mrs. Bout has, well, vanished, for want of a better word. Wandered off somewhere, no doubt. I thought I'd best check and see you're all right. The council are talking about a flu epidemic. Yes, well, I'm not sure it's flu as such. But uh, no headaches, nosebleeds, no joint pains or digestive issues. Dr. Wade, I'm as fit as a fiddle. Go and find some real sick people to look after. And if you see that son of mine, tell him that his mother's looking for him. Yeah. So I'm guessing kind of like one thing happens at each house, so maybe I don't need to check the backyards as much. Because I think we've only seen kind of one thing happen at each place. Maybe that's what I'll start doing. I don't know, man. I'm so lost. No snap. Swung this way. So Wendy is Stephen's mother. Oh, that thing's all the way down there. 
Can a brother get a go-kart? My kingdom for a go-kart. And then I guess there's a question of who we are. We don't know. Guess I'll have to look both ways on Cross the Street. Let's see if they say. Alright, you are here. We were at the Vallis Observatory before. So we've come up the street. And those eyeball things are everywhere. So I guess we're going up the street following where those little sideways eights are. Almost look like the infinity sign, but not quite. Going away, Amanda? Oh, just for a few days, yeah. First thing in the morning. I don't want the kids to catch this flu that's going around. It's probably that father, Jeremy, spreading it around while he tries to bully everyone into donations for the summer fete. It seems very quiet in the village, actually, Wendy. Not much bullying to be done. Oh, father. Oh, I didn't snap. know you were here. Clearly. Called out. Listen, I came up here to tell Amanda that we've had some vandalism in the village. Must be a teenage thing. Tagging, I think they call it. Someone's painting all over doors and things. Little vandals. Well, I'll tell Neil to make sure we're properly locked up when we go. A good man like my Eddie, gone. And these thugs and yops running around defacing property. He gave everything to his country, and look what he got in return. Nothing but an early death. He had a good life, Wendy. He had a short life. I look to my birds, father. Lives lived unencumbered, free and simple. That's as God meant things to be. <laughs> she was talking about my man, and he walked out. I promise I'm not bullying anybody. Oh, I was hoping to see some hands. Every computer in the observatory has set itself to 6.07 a.m. June 6th, 1984. I don't understand what that means. You not the only one, yeah, yeah. I don't know what that means either, what I'm getting at. Floating around out there. I'll be back. I'm just, you know, double checking. Man, this doggone walk, man. I want to go check out some other places. I just don't feel like walking all the way over there. Yep, 607, look at that. Clocks are still set to it. Oops. Yes, I'll check that car out. Stop yelling at me. I was on the hood. It got as far as the Haverton substation before we cut the lines. The interchange there just started dialing numbers at random. And the symptoms you're seeing match those we've been tracking here. Sickness, headaches, nosebleeds, eventual hemorrhage, then just light, whatever the hell that means. Then we've got to stop it before it finds another way out of the valley. Clive, you've got to order a strike. What? An airstrike. We have to kill it. No. No, uh, I don't agree. We've quarantined the valley, we've cut the lines, it's contained. What if you're wrong? Are you happy to have that on your conscience? Stephen. I said, it's contained. Mm. I guess 
They were wrong about that. Another phone. I'm telling you. It is serious. It's not larking about. You'll be listening to your number stations again, Frankie. It's not funny. <laughs> it's serious stuff. And you should mind it. Now then, I'm assuming this is about a point. I am going to the Whistler. My round, I think. Oh, no, I'll argue with that. Frank, have you seen the sky? It's amazing. Don't think I've ever seen anything like it. I didn't realize we were off to a poetry recital as well, Charlie. <laughs> he dogged my man out. Have you seen the sky? He says, stop being a girl. That's the trans loose translation. Message, the message version. Okay, good. Thank you. Don't have to go in there. Hmm. A lot of blue flowers going on back here. Seems random. And I guess it is. All right. Uh oh. Can't get through here. <clears throat> Terry called this morning. Said there was a problem with Harvey. Said he couldn't get through to the vet, so I said I'd come round and take a look. There's a lot of dead birds today. More here, too, poor little things. I've been trying to get hold of Steve, and he always knows what to do. Got round here, and no sign of either of them. With any luck, the stupid creature will have run under a car. It's probably rabies. Is that a bird? Yep. Dead. It's the dead birds everybody's talking about. Come on, boy. Come on, Harvey. Come on, Harvey. Come on, boy. Harvey. Harvey. I'm supposed to go this way. Shit, I told you it would get stuck. I should have just taken the car. This was a stupid idea. <laughs> Moving here was a stupid idea. And I told you, Barbara said they blocked the roads. Oh, 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 you go and look then. Wait, is that Harvey? Harvey? Harvey! Harvey! Here, boy! Come here, boy! I'm married. You have to stop this. He's still sweet on you, Elizabeth. He, he left. It's too late. You loved each other long before she came along. It's just about making things as they should be. Wendy, no. It's not like you won't bump into each other anyway. One drink. 
drink? What can that hurt? Oh, one drink, maybe. Oh, mm -hmm. One drink, wonderful. <laughs> mm -hmm. Some home records up in this piece. Talking about some wonderful. Until somebody gets pushed off a bridge. <laughs> 